Hello everyone, since you lot really enjoyed my Cars 2 videos, why not show you how you can make some of these iconic cars yourself? Don't forget to check out the Discord to help with and be in some of these videos, and if you want to support me, consider joining the Patreon. Let's get into it. First up, Lightning McQueen. Now, Lightning is the main character of the Cars franchise. He is a race car from Radiator Springs who has won the Piston Cup as well as the World Grand Prix. Now there's a lot of talk about what car Lightning is in real life and in Gran Turismo 7. That is Chevrolet Corvette, Dodge Viper and the Ford GT are all names that come to mind. But it's difficult to know which one he actually is as it isn't really an exact replica of any real life car. So it's up to you to decide which one suits him best. I actually think he's too modern to be a Ford GT and I think the Viper does suit him best. So for the sake of this video we'll go with the Viper. Anyway, you'll want to get this livery that is on the screen right now. Depending on what car you choose to recreate Lightning with, that will obviously influence what livery or design you're going to go with. And there are plenty out there, lots of people who have done them, but just get one that suits him the best. And since he is a race car, you will want some upgrades. So first we're going to get the stage 1 and 2 weight reduction. Then some power. He has around 750 brake horsepower, so this is the number we need to aim for power upgrades you can see on screen will get him to around 750 horsepower but as long as you can get around that number it doesn't really matter too much what upgrades you're using. We must also get the racing brake, suspension, clutch and the brake balance controller. Remember we're creating a world famous race car here so we do want to maximise the performance. Now once you have all these power upgrades and the livery you have actually created Lightning McQueen. Now you can use this car to compete in many races but I will give you some ideas of what you can do with this at the end of the video so make sure you stick around for that one. Next up Luigi. Luigi is the Italian owner of Luigi's Casa della Tires in Radiator Springs and provides the people in town with his tires. And he is one of the easiest characters to recreate since he has a 95% similarity to the Fiat 500 which is already in the game. Now this car only appears in used car dealerships you may have to wait but it is very cheap at just 15,000 credits. One of the cheapest cars in the game for that matter. Now if you want to make a car's character on a budget this is definitely one. We'll be applying this livery here by Vertero and XP and it's definitely the best livery for this character. It recreates the whole design with, with the correct colour and the eyes so it's definitely the one to go for. What's even better is that this livery is completely free to apply since the wheels don't actually need to be changed. But so far we're still at around 15 or 16 thousand credits for the whole car. But let's not forget Luigi is the owner of a tyre shop so he can't be racing around with the comfort tyres. So let's get some sport tyres. To help with racing we'll get some suspension and some upgraded brake pads. Then to get a little bit of power we'll buy the sports computer, air filter and silencer. Now naturally Luigi isn't going to be a race car like Lightning McQueen, but it's definitely a fun car to drive around and once again I'll give you some ideas of some races you can do with this car later on in the video at the end. Just make sure you stick around for that. Now moving on to Sally. Now Sally is the lawyer for Radiator Springs and is also the owner of the Crazy Cove Motel. Now Sally is near identical to the Porsche 996 Carrera. Unfortunately we only have the GT3 RS version of this car in the game. The front and front they look the same so we'll have to make do. We're using this livery by Chicken Cutlet 2 which is the best one to recreate Sally with. And now it's cheap to install and remember Sally isn't a race car. So there isn't really any need to have all of the top racing upgrades but I think some basic sport items is best reflective of her character. This is because she can be seen driving around with Lightning McQueen and getting into a couple of races but obviously not participating in the World Grand Prix and Piston Cup races itself. We'll just go on with some basic sport upgrades and some tyres and that kind of stuff. Once again Sally can be competitive in some of the campaign races but I'll show you some more things you can do later as, as I've already explained. Next up is Fillmore. Now Fillmore is the owner of Fillmore's Tasting Shop which sells organic fuel and other kind of hippie themed merch. Now he is near identical to the first gen VW camp van or the Type 2 that we have in the game currently. This car can be bought for around 60,000 credits or actually won for the mission races quite easily to be fair. We'll be applying this livery by Vod, Vodka, I think that's right. 
Um, there's actually quite a few liveries, but I think this one was the best for this car. And it's the only one which gets the colour right and also comes to the eyes at the same time. His laid back personality means that he isn't really in a rush to get anywhere, therefore power upgrades aren't really necessary. However, you can do some extra upgrades if you would like to make it a little bit more competitive. Now, the King or Strip Weathers. Now, he's a racing veteran, having raced for over 20 years and has won 7 Piston Cups. He's undeniably based off a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. And in GT7, this car can be bought for around 400,000 credits from the Legend dealership. So there's tons of liveries for this car, and I think they're all really good, but I've just got this one that you can see on screen, and this is one that I used for my Piss and Cup remake a couple of years ago. But feel free to use whatever one you like. Now the car needs to be able to reach a high speed as it does compete with Lightning Queen. So I put the majority of the racing upgrades to turn him into a proper race car, then lots of power upgrades to get the speed. You should be able to get around 180 miles an hour on Daytona, and with the supercharger and intercooler, it can do around 220 miles an hour. But bear in mind, there is no downforce, so this car is very hard to control. And by the time you get up to that top speed, you will quite likely spin out. Just be careful about that one. It's a very challenging, but also fun car to drive. And finally, we'll be talking about Chick Hicks. Now, Chick Hicks is the antagonist of the first Cars film, and is a centered piston cap racer, as I'm sure you'll know. Once again, there's a lot of controversy about what car Chick Hicks should be. I think the best car that I think the car that he's actually based off is the Buick GNX, which is a really good car, but it sadly isn't in Gran Turismo 7. However, there are some cars that can be substituted. The Pontiac Trans Am, or I'm currently using the Chris Holstrom Concept 1967 Chevy Nova, tuned kind of Nova, a uh, car can both be used instead. Now, whatever your car you're using, we want to make sure it can keep up with Lightning and the King. Both of these cars have around 750 horsepower. Luckily, these cars are quite tunable and do have quite a bit of power from default. So if you're using the Pontiac Trans Am, you know, some basic upgrades and maybe a supercharger if you need it will get you up to around that number. If you're using a Chevy Nova like me, it comes with 732 horsepower standard. So I think, to be honest, you could get away with leaving it without any power upgrades. But you also want to get some racing upgrades, definitely some racing tyres from Luigi and some other stuff um, like the brake pads, the suspension and all that to turn it into a proper race car. Now what we're aiming for here is Lightning the King and Chick Kicks are all kind of roughly the same speed. Now I wish I could cover every character but I hope this video has shown you some of the possibilities of remaking the cars in Gran Turismo 7. But I said I'd give you some ideas about what you could do with some of these cars. Now it's worth noting that every single car I've talked about can be used in the game obviously, some may even compete in races, and some may actually be very good cars. But you can race these against each other, and if you do have any other cars uh, remakes that you've done, feel free to include them as well. So obviously you could remake the Piston Cup like I did with um, Lightning McQueen, Chick Hicks and The King, if it was some of your friends or whoever, and you can race them around Daytona, that's quite good to remake. A bit more time with you but you can remake the world grand prix now some of those cars are quite difficult to get right and it is quite hard to get this set up right but it's very rewarding once you get it done in terms of some of the cars i've done you could even race lightning against sally like that scene from cars you kind of recreate that you could even race fillmore against luigi because they're both kind of classic 1960s kind of slow cars really both of them have kind of similar power, but obviously Luigi's got slightly less, but he is a bit lighter. And there are really endless possibilities about what you could do here. I haven't tried it, but I'm sure you could be able to remake the Cars 3 car characters with Jackson Storm and that lot in the game. I'm sure you could be able to do that. And if you do manage to do that, let me know. I'll be interested to see that. But like I said, there are endless possibilities of what you could do here. But what's your favourite car out of all of these that I've mentioned? Let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to see that. Thank you for watching and goodbye.